Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the WWE Elite NXT Target Exclusive, uh, ugh, Target Exclusive NXT TakeOver Shinsuke Nakamura. Pretty pumped to find this, have found this guy. I don't know why I was at uh, Target last night, just, you know, checking to see if they got anything interesting. Uh, but I saw the new NXT TakeOver wave and I was... So happy uh, that I saw him because he was in front. Uh, but you know, I I really I'm, I don't think I'm gonna get the rest of the wave just because it's not I don't really know them too much. But anyways, on the side you can see Shinsuke Nakamura right there. There's the back if you want to read the read up and the information. Pause it now. And here's the other figure in this wave, uh, Asuka. I don't know, uh, and the, uh, Revival, I'm thinking about picking those two guys up just because, uh, I, sh I, sh I, I should get to know them a little bit better, but let me know if you want to see the review of Asuka, um, I don't really like, uh, Mattel's women wrestlers, uh, figures because they're poorly articulated, it's, it's a shame, really. So, anyways, there's Shinsuke Nakamura right there. There he is again. There's the top of the package, the bottom of the package. Let's just get this guy opened up and see how cool he really is. Alright, we got the artist known as Shinsuke Nakamura out of the packaging. I hate that name because... When was he an artist? I don't know. Uh, but he does come with two accessories. Uh, one of them being this armband, which I don't know. I think I don't know why they could have just sculpted on. Maybe they were just too lazy. But yeah, it's all right. I like the sculpt. It sits on there pretty nicely. Um, but yeah, it's all right. We just gonna put it back on just because. Why not? Uh, on, stay. Uh, and, uh, he comes with this jacket. Looks okay. I mean, I don't know. Like, the, the paint apps. That's about it. And it's rubber, so that's, you know, I'm kind of biased about it. It's like, eh. Wish it was, you know, cloth or leather. But, uh, yeah, I do like this figure. The articulation is a little... I mean, it could be better. Okay? That's, uh, that's what I'm gonna say. But... Here's the face scan of Shinsuke Nakamura. And I like it. I think the left eye looks a little weird. But other than that, I, I really do like this. Uh, I think it does look like him. Uh, the hair sculpt is good. Very accurate. And then you get this. It's weird to think that he used to, Like, this isn't... This wasn't his gimmick. His whole wrestling career. Like, he used to be an actual normal... <laughs> normal wrestler. And, uh have like normal hair and not this weird kind of shit it's weird to think about but uh, I like the body mode you know I mean I think they could have chosen a little bit of a better one but this is this works uh, this kind of looks a little you know kind of like he was fat before and now he's skinny and you can see some abs but uh, it, it should have been just you know straight up skinny but it still works uh, but yeah, I like the paint apps on the arms there. I like the paint apps on the belt. This is a completely new thing because I don't remember seeing anything like the, like this with the belt going like that. Uh, there's so this is new to me at least. Uh, I don't know if this is new. Uh, it feels familiar, but I don't know. I, it could be reused, and I wouldn't be surprised either. And one thing that makes me think it is new is just because it says, you know, the right leg and then the left leg. And usually they don't say that unless it's on Roman Reigns. Uh, but just checking to see. Maybe there's no way Jose's. I can't tell. Yeah, I mean. Nah, I don't think so. Yeah, no. So yeah, shit, my bipod, tripod, whatever you want to call it, keep it turning. But yeah, I like the uh, paint apps here, and dots going down, here's the back, nothing going on there. Articulation, the head will move up and down, side to side, and pivot. 
His arm moves out like up like so. He can do 360. There is a bicep swivel. Single bend at the elbow means the 90 degree angle. Swivel at the hand and hinge. There is an ab crunch that far forward, that far back. Swivel a little bit loose. And I feel like it will get loose on me, but I'm just going to be glad it's a little bit tight right now. Anyways, hip joints move out like so. He can't kick out like that. Wish he could kick out more. He can't kick back like that. Uh, I mean, this is okay. And then you can get him in a pose where he's doing his uh, King Chasta. King Chasta. I don't know how to say it. But, yeah. Pretty uh, gnarly move at some points. It depends on how the wrestler sells it, really. But, uh, thigh cut, double joint and knees. Defeat will move side to side. Pivot and hinge. So, yeah, I do like this figure a lot, actually. Um, I think he's, uh, probably, I, I don't know if I would say top ten. I gotta, you know, take a look and, you know, think about it. But he is definitely at least one of the best, like, a very good figure. So, I'm, kind of, I'm gonna compare him to some figures from the last wave of uh, NXT TakeOver Elite. We got No Way Jose right here. And uh, I'm, I'm not sure if the height is accurate or not. But uh, then we got first appearance Seth Rollins. They're actually making first appearance Roman Reigns. They announced it at uh, Ringside or Ring Fest. I, I don't know. Uh, but it looks weird. I don't really like the head sculpt. I think it's a bit unnecessary just because there's so little to him. But I I, I gotta see it in person, alright? Uh, and then we got one more from the uh, last wave who's not there anymore, unfortunately. Austin Aries. I had to pick up two of this guy just in case, you know... I, I don't know, he goes <laughs> skyrocketing, which he didn't, but it's st I'm still pretty glad I have to, because this arm joint is still very loose on me, so, anyways, yeah, uh, like I said, not sure if these height differences are good, but, damn, these NXT TakeOver figures are really good. Uh, anyways, let's compare them to some, uh, some wrestlers that I think are worth comparing uh, I'm not sure if these two fought, and if they do, I hope that I hope they do, because it would be a very good fight. So, Mojo Joe and Shinsuke Nakamura. That's I don't know. Like I said, I don't know. I just really want to see these two fight. Uh, then we got the phenomenal one, a J Styles. This, uh, I think uh, Shinsuke should be taller. Or AJ Styles should be shorter. Uh, one or the other. But, you know, I think this would work. Uh, and then, let's take him out. And the last figure that I dug out <laughs> is uh, Finn Balor. Pretty, um, I really want to see these two guys fight. I want him to win the, U the WWE belt. And I want him to win the Universal belt. And uh, see them go at it. But... I heard that he's not going to even be getting a chance which is for the uh, Universal belt. So, I'm kind of hoping, like, someone will take it from Brock. And then Finn will, uh, kind of, like, kill, kill, kill the other person. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and subscribe. You see so much more content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Thanks for watching.